I've been planning to build an R2-D2 for quite a while now and the question of scale always comes up so I wanted to make something that was pretty big but it had to be able to fit on my 3D printer. I found a Bluetooth speaker that was in the shape of an R2 head so that got me started and reduced the amount of design work required. I still found it very challenging to design all these features into the curved surfaces but it turned out quite well. I couldn't find any decent dimensioned drawings to design this from so I ended up using photographs but even those were of poor quality and just try and find one which shows the back of R2 they just don't exist. But now that I have a CAD model I can build different versions of this and use them for different purposes with different sensors and uh, different motors so it makes a great platform for designing different models of robot. I always try and design models that can be printed without support structure. That's a bit of a challenge and sometimes it doesn't quite work but it's interesting to try and do it. I also try and design models that just snap together with no fasteners which can be quite tricky but when it works it's great. No, no screws involved. This project took more time and effort than anticipated but of course when that happens it's more satisfying when it's finally completed. I tried to sandwich this project in between other projects while waiting for parts. It got a little tricky because of the amount of effort involved in this project and all my deadlines are getting jammed up. It ends up adding quite a bit of pressure to make sure that things work on the first try. For this project I really just want to end up with a solid platform that I that I can use to build on as I dream up new features that might be interesting to try. This first model won't have motorized legs or wheels. It won't even have the third leg for R2-D2. The head rotation will be motorized and the head itself will have some electronics that we can use to create some cool effects. But the body parts are mainly about trying to get that iconic look of R2-D2. Unfortunately, my painting skills are subpar. I tried to use nail polish to get the silver color and some of the blue colors and black colors but boy they don't come with a very good brush to paint with. You really want to use a, a real paintbrush if you use uh, nail polish for this stuff. I ended up using some acrylic blue paint but it's still far from very good. On the bright side the 3D printing turned out well. All the prints printed flawlessly and snapped together with great tolerance. Coming up in a few moments I will show the build and demo of the R2-D2 robot. Okay I'm just peeling off the masking tape here where I painted my blue line to give me a nice even line it's time to start assembling R2-D2 I had to stop painting because my paint job was just going from bad to worse uh, but at least it shows some of the colors that should be there this is a leg and the rest of the foot snaps on here like that and of course two legs uh, this is the main body it took a long time to design all these fancy features into the curved surface on my CAD system and of course then I messed it up with a bunch of lousy paint jobs here but uh, the CAD files look at, look very good actually so what where do we start here uh, let's start with the motor so the motor um, bracket is goes in opposite the arms like this and it's a tight fit so 
So now that puts the motor in the middle and you can see in here that the motor bracket is right opposite the uh, arm and what we have here is a axle with a slot in it that can fit over the motor bracket and lock it in place. So now that can't come out and we have a nice tight fit on the axle for the arm. And likewise this one also has a, a jaw to grab the motor bracket. And it's a nice tight fit too. So there we have the motor. That motor is meant to rotate the head. And of course now all we have to do is snap on the legs. So here's a leg. And that's very tight as you can probably hear. And the other one. There we go. R2-D2, at least the body, he stands up nicely. So for the motor, I have a, a servo horn mounted on the bottom of this rotating plate, which I just stick on top and screw in. go and the head just drops on top so that's the R2D2 all done very quick and let's power it up and see if that little motor can actually rotate that heavy head so the head on top here is a actually a Bluetooth speaker and I don't know exactly how that works, but we'll just figure that out. Hey, R2. How are you? AR2, do you have a message from Princess Leia? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. This video probably makes this project look a lot simpler than it was, but the result is nice and uh, that's what I was trying for. Now I just have to get this published and get back to some other projects which have been stacking up. I'll just switch off for a while.